Hi friends, it's Bonnie. First of all, I'd like to say sorry for my weird and kind of lack of uploading schedule lately. I am currently without my laptop and it's really hard for a girl who does YouTube and also online school. But if it is, it is the first, no, it is the last day of September, which means it's time for a September wrap up, which I am combining with my October TBR because my September wrap-up is pretty darn pathetic this month. Let's get right into it. The first book I read this month is This Is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Troper. And I read this because the movie was coming out this month. And yeah, you know, um, I have a full review of it on my channel already, so I will link that down below if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it. But basically, it is about a guy who is dealing with his wife cheating on him and therefore they're having a divorce, as well as his father dying at the same time. He goes back to spend some time with his family and things are just crazy and weird. This family is kind of odd and yeah, I really ended up liking it. At first, I really didn't, but I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So yeah, if you, like I said, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it, check out the video down below. Whew, I am talking fast. I need to slow down. Now, this is where we get into kind of a problem and where my September TBR, TBR, wrap up became so pathetic and it was, it's really because of this book. And that is Endgame, The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. I have not finished this book yet. If you follow me on Goodreads, you would know that I am a little over halfway through, but it is just so hard to get through for me. I really wanted to read it because this is an arc and it comes out in October and I never get arcs. I just happen to have this one and I really wanted to read it and review it before it came out, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, maybe I'll try and finish it. Like I said, I'm halfway, over halfway through. It's just not liking it. It's, I don't care about the characters. The story isn't that interesting. I just, I don't know. If you, any of you have read this and think I should finish it, then I guess let me know, but I don't know. We'll see. So I tried to stick with that book for quite a long time. It wasn't until the 27th of September, so like two days ago, that I decided, you know what? I'm not getting anywhere. I just need to put it down and pick up something else because I would started to feel like maybe I just wasn't in the mood for reading at all. But that was not the case. It was the book because after that I picked up Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo, the sequel to Shadow and Bone. <laughs> and I loved it so much. I finished it already. It was freaking fantastic. Such a good, good, good sequel. Sequels can be kind of scary sometimes because you never know what you'll get. It could be not as good, but this was even better than the first one. The action was incredible. Just from the first chapter, there's action through the entire book. It is just so freaking good. If you haven't started this series, I obviously can't tell you the plot of this one because it'd be spoilers. But Shadow and Bone, the first book, is kind of like a fantasy novel and kind of like a dark fantasy, not really high epic. It's very easy to understand, so if you're cautious when it comes to reading fantasy, I think this would be a great series to dive into. And it follows this girl named Alina, and you know, typical YA kind of trope. She thinks she's... Dog, shut up. Anyway. She thinks she's ordinary, kind of but she ends up not being. It's about these Grisha, which are magical that, I don't know what I'm saying. I got distracted by that dog, but it's a really good series and I think you should read it. Five out of five stars. This one was so freaking fantastic. So because of Endgame, those were the only books I read in September, which is pretty freaking sad, but I feel really in the groove now. So I think October is going to be a good, good reading month. I'm excited. I haven't had the internet much, so I've been less distracted over these past, what is it, bounce on my computer, almost a week now. Let's me go right into my October wrap-up now. Obviously, the first book on my October wrap-up is Ruin and Rising, the third and final book in the Grisha trilogy. Yeah, I've actually already started this. I'm that far in, which is like, I don't know, 100 something pages, I think. So honestly, I might even finish this tonight and won't even have it. It'll be like a September read, which would be great. But I am filming this right now and at this point I am this far. So yeah, really liking it so far. <laughs> Terrified for how it's going to conclude because I'm sure people are going to die. And I'm sure it's going to be sad and I'm just not ready for it. 
I'm not ready for it. Next book in my October TBR, I do not have to show you currently because it is on its way to my house, should be here tomorrow, and it is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. Oh my gaga. I don't know why I said that, but I am so excited to read this book. It has been on my radar for quite some time now. I know it's getting a lot of buzz right now because the movie is about to come out and it looks fantastic. Everyone says there's this crazy ending, which I think I might have been spoiled on. Thank you, Tumblr, but I'm still excited to read it. I'm very excited to read it and then see the movie. It's going to be a freaking good time. So Gone Girl definitely going to be reading it right right when I get it because I have to watch read it before I watch the movie and it's gonna be great so yeah at least I hope it's great I guess I can't for sure that but whatever anyway moving on the next book that I'm pretty sure I'm going to read my TBRs are normally kind of all over the place because I'm never really sure but I got this book recently and I really want to read it so I think it's gonna happen and that is The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey yeah, um, if you don't know, this book is about, I believe, aliens, I think. Yeah? And it's getting a lot of buzz. I know the sequel just came out. The movie adaptation is in place with Chloe Grace Moretz, who I love. And everyone just says, well, almost everyone says this is a really good book. So I'm excited to read it. And, you know, aliens, that's a good kind of October theme, I think, for the month of the Halloween. So... Yeah, this should be a fun time. The next and last book on my TBR for October is Unravel Me, the sequel to Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I did not say that right. I tried to do like an accent like you're supposed to, it just completely failed. But if you don't know, I can't really tell you the plot for this one, nor do I know the plot, I guess, because I haven't read it. But it's the sequel to Shatter Me, which is about a girl who has this power, kind of. She can touch people and it kills them. And she's been locked up, but now she was escaped or gotten out by the government and they want to use her as a weapon. Yeah, that's how, that's, that Shatter Me. And now I'm excited to see what goes on in Unravel Me. I read Shatter Me quite a while ago and I don't know why it's taking me so long to get this book. But I finally did and I'm really, really excited to read it. So I'm thinking it's going to happen this month. Now, chances are I will read a, another book at some point during the month maybe more but I just I don't know what yet so that's all I have for my TBR as of right now um yeah this has been a really weird video I haven't been able to film in a while sorry about that I think I'm talking really fast sorry about that hopefully this is edited and uploaded soon because I don't know how I'm gonna do it but we'll see thank you guys for watching thanks for sticking with me even through my weird uploading schedules and I will see you in my next video bye what was, I can't even edit half of this. I'm doing like the stupidest stuff.